Hi guys, in today's tutorial I'll show you how to color grade your video to achieve a dark, moody look in After Effects. I recently shared my latest reel on Instagram, and many of you asked about the grading settings I used, so let's get started. This video was shot using the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 in the D-Log profile. For grading, I'll be using the official LUT, which you can download directly from DJI's website. If you're using a different camera like a Sony for example, you can download the appropriate official LUT from the Sony website as well. Once you've downloaded the LUT, apply the Lumetri color effect to your clip, then expand the creative, click on the look drop-down, and select the LUT you downloaded. The only adjustment I'll make under the creative section is sharpen. I'll increase it to 20. Sharpening the video helps maintain visual clarity and quality when uploading to platforms like Instagram and TikTok. Now let's close the creative and expand basic correction. I'll reduce the temperature to around minus 6 to give the video a colder, moodier tone. Now I'll increase the contrast to around 60 to give the video a darker, more defined look. Then I'll lower the highlights to about minus 130 to recover details in the brightest parts. To bring back some visibility in the dark areas, I'll slightly raise the shadows. Next I'll slightly increase the whites to add a bit of brightness, and then reduce the blacks to deepen the shadows. I'll also raise the exposure just a touch to brighten the overall image. That looks fine for the basic adjustments, so now let's expand the curves and move on. I'll create three points on the curve, one for the shadows, one for the midtones, and one for the highlights. I'll start by lowering the shadows to deepen the dark areas, then slightly raise the midtones to brighten the middle range, and finally I'll pull down the highlights to soften the brightest parts of the image. Now I'll switch to the red channel and pull the curve down slightly. This adds more blue to the image, giving the video a colder, more atmospheric look. The image is already looking good, but we can enhance it further. Let's move on to the hue versus saturation adjustment. I'll select the eyedropper tool and click on the green areas in my video. Sometimes After Effects selects the wrong color automatically, but we can adjust it manually by choosing the green range right from this panel. Then I'll increase the saturation of the greens to make them more vibrant like this. I'll also select the blue colors and slightly decrease their saturation, as I don't want the blues to overpower the video. Next let's move to hue versus hue. I'll select the blue color and adjust it slightly, bumping it up a bit to subtly shift the blues in the video. Everything looks good so far, so let's scroll down to the color wheels and expand it. I'll warm up the midtones slightly since the video feels too cold for my taste. I'll do the same with the highlights, but also lower their brightness a bit. To balance the look, I'll cool down the shadows to add a colder tone to the darker areas and pull them down to make the shadows deeper and darker. Let's also slightly pull down the midtones to fine tune the overall balance. Nice, everything looks great to me. Now let's scroll down and expand the vignette section. I'll reduce the amount to darken the edges, then lower the midpoint to bring the vignette closer to the center. Finally I'll increase the feather to around 90 for a smooth, natural transition. Let me quickly show you the before and after of my color grading. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe.